What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? I'm going to show you guys how to update to iOS 14.3, but with this method, no SHSH blobs are required. This is a firmware that's no longer being signed. So how do we upgrade? Now, in order for this to work, you do have to be jailbroken on whatever earlier version of iOS you're on. So go ahead and add the source on the screen now and search for this package and then install it. And then from there, we can keep In going. the description of this video, there's a profile that you have to open on your device. So go to the description on your device then open this profile and go to settings profiles and device management and click on the profile and go through and make sure that it's trusted so now with that profile installed and the tweak installed all you have to do is go to settings general and software update and then wait for 14.3 to pop up pretty simple here's the really weird part apple stopped signing ios 14.3 a little while ago now so we thought that you couldn't go to 14.3 well, turns out you can for a limited time. This method will stop working on April 26th, so you want to make sure you do this before then. With that being said, it's download and install time. Put in your passcode and then it should start to download. But it might not be that simple for people that don't have a ton of storage. You're essentially downloading all of iOS 14.3 over the air onto your device, and that means it's going to take up a lot of storage. So make sure you back up all of your important stuff and if you have to move some stuff around in order to have enough storage to be able to download this, I would do that. This was discovered on Wednesday, April 7th, but just because of all of the errors and issues people were having with Apple servers, I wanted to wait until the traffic cooled down to actually release a video, just so that way people would actually be able to do this without receiving that many errors. Hopefully by the time this video is out, the traffic isn't as bad and the servers aren't being hammered as much and it's actually fairly easy to do this without any errors. But if you do get some errors, just keep going. This failed multiple times when I was trying to record this video. So just bear that in mind with a lot of these kinds of things. Sometimes you just have to keep at it and then eventually you'll get it. As we know right now, this currently does not work with A14 devices, so also keep that in mind, but I had to try this over and over and over again for hours while recording this video. You can see in this take, I literally get all the way to the very end, and then the update disappears from the software update section. It's gone, and then eventually it tells me that I need to install it again after I just went through the entire process. This one just straight up says software update failed. I guess they weren't trying to hide anything there. So the point of me showing all of these failed takes to you is to show just how many times I had to do this to get it working. So if this is going on for you, just keep at it. So for me, going through this process was so long and so random that I didn't know what thing was going to fail or what thing was going to go through. It was just kind of a waiting game for like three hours. So I got up to this point and I was like, okay, that's nice, but it might fail again. And then I started to see the Apple logo and then I got excited because I knew finally it was working. So after a long process and a long day, here's the Apple logo and here's the hello screen. That's to signify that the update worked and we are on iOS 14.3 final. I can swipe up and it's going to ask me for my passcode. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in real fast. And then once we do that, it says software update complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 14.3. Now it's as simple as going through the rest of the setup process. And when we get to the end, do not share diagnostics. Welcome to iPhone, swipe up to get started and we are on iOS 14.3. You can see I'm on iOS 14 because the edit home screen prompt comes up, and now I can actually put widgets on my home screen. If I go to settings, general, and about, you now can see I'm running iOS 14.3. And after a long process, that's it. You're done. You're on iOS 14.3, and you can finally enjoy your new jailbreak if you decide to do that, of course. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on, so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. I thought I was stuck for good on iOS 13 because 14.3 wasn't being signed anymore, but thankfully, this method works, and it works until April 26th. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,